So I'm gonna put these guys a little bit high because I like the balance. One, two, three. Right, create some perspective. Yeah. Yeah, different shapes. You are about to meet one of the world's great artists and a dear friend of mine. Please welcome Wei Han Lu. Wei Han, so nice to well, see hi. you. Eric, so good to see you. Yeah. And so good to see you. And uh, thank you for having me. Oh, I, I, I'm honored to have you. So Wei Han and I became painting buddies way back when I was living in uh, Walnut Creek, California. Yes. Area. And he was living in Berkeley Hills, right? Yeah. And uh, so we used to go plein air painting a lot, and it was a lot of fun. And we got we hung out a lot and got to know each other, and it was a, a really terrific time. And then I moved away, and then you moved away, and we're all in different places now. Yeah. Now I'm in mean, Santa Rosa now. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And and uh, I'll have to come out and see you. Well, at the time, you know, your son was still in in. Uh, I think high school, my yeah. kids, my kids would come over with me to your house. They were about five years old or something, probably. Yeah. Yes. Maybe, oh, maybe about that age. And then uh, now my kids are in college. Your, wow. your son is probably well graduated from college, right? Yes. Yeah. So time, time travels fly. too quickly. Yeah. Time fly. So you guys, I want to show you uh, just a couple of Wei Han's paintings. Uh, just so you get a feel for what kind of painting this guy does. Just look at this amazing work. Uh, Wei Han, tell me this. Uh, I know these are old paintings, but tell me a little bit about this. Would this have been in Tibet or where would it be? Uh, this one is from the uh, in Tibet region in Gansu province. Uh -huh. And that, that painting actually is from the trip. And I remember... Uh, that was uh, 19, I think it's 1998 or 1999. Yeah. And that was the time, yeah. Do you, do you uh, uh, when, when we were allowed to travel, do you travel over over to Tibet uh, frequently? For uh, uh, if, if you uh, if you want to go to in, into the Deconica Tibet uh, autonomous region and you have to get the special permit. Oh, you uh, do? Yeah, special entries. And that was in year of the 2004. Well, a long time ago. Time, and I think I, uh, Wei and I and uh, the good friend, uh, Scott Birdie and Susan Lyon. So we, we went the trip that's on 2004. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that was... Uh, yeah, I had to get the, not easy to get the permit. <laughs> it'd, be, it'd be a wonderful place to paint. So tell yeah. us what you're going to do for us today. Well, uh, I'm going to, what I'll show you, and the one of the painting that I've been working on, the uh, stuff from the idea and the sketch, and yeah, this one. And uh, actually, actually, the inspiration in from, from Taos. Uh, New Mexico. Yeah. Cause, yeah, because I've been uh, to Taos for many, many times. And part of the travel and painting trip there. And also I, I've been talking, you know, the teaching mm -hmm. and, and painting workshop up there. So I had a chance to to meet the, uh, the, the, the people in the pub room. And then uh, luckily then and they become you know, the models and setting for the, for the class. Yeah. So I had a, had a time to get to know, you know. Oh, nice. Um, yeah, so that is the, the figure actually is the, that was the the, the, the friend in the in the pub room. So, well, I'll be curious about uh, what's going to be happening now. You'll probably have a waiting list for workshops as soon as, as soon as this uh, quarantine is lifted. Uh, do you have any workshops planned? Well, uh just like everyone, I've been canceled many uh, workshops this year. And yeah, yeah but I'll be doing, and some of the workshop is, is coming back in, in next year. So one of the, like I think uh, in in May, so I'll be doing one in Carmel. Uh, and, um, and one of the, 
Oh, and in January next year, and I, I, I'm still doing, uh, you know, there are the schedule in Scott right. Law School. Oh, okay. Uh, Scott's the Arizona. So today you're going to show us, uh, you're going to show us the process on how, how you uh, get to uh, do a little bit of demo on this painting. Is that right? Uh, not this one, but I'm going to oh, a different show. You're going yeah, to show. different one. Yeah, but this I one, um, I do have some studies. On, okay. On. Just want to show you. And so I'm going to, I'll just get these two pictures. And what I like is the, so, uh, I mean, I, I like the light and the shadows. And those pictures actually is the, from the trip to Tibet. We can't see the bottom picture very well. Hold it up. There we go. All right. Yeah. So you're going to combine the two? I'm going to just see how to put together. Because I like this one. This one, the shape is, uh, <clears throat> to me, is kind of, I think it's a fun gesture. Uh, kind of kneading down the angles, anything, you know, is the, because uh, during the harvest the season, they just uh, collapse the, uh, the body. And it is outdoor is, <clears throat> so the light and shadows to me, I think is quite interesting. What I don't like is uh, because it just happened to you because when you take the pictures, so because I like to think, uh, you know, take the, they're, they're not modeling, they just they catch it, they just doing what they're doing. And I just used my, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm, I was just like a generalist, you know, just I think any pictures. So randomly the kids, you know, standing there, so to me, I don't think it's the right conversations because the uh, kind of looks like a, it's not work with, with this one. But I like the the shape is the bending, you know, is the right, right. all the light in the shadows. But I think also I like this one too. And of course, if I I I, I paint like this, this then that can be more like a you know portraiture. You know, it's just only one figure. I'm thinking uh, if I, how about if I put her just uh, a little behind her and that might be interesting to see and she's in the foreground and I put her at the more next, you know, behind her and and then maybe and and, and put these guys in the, a little further back. So that, that's what I'm thinking. So I want to take this one uh, put in the foreground, and her is kind of on the mid ground, and then uh, we see it, and maybe on this guy, but definitely is is not the standing these kids. Outstanding! Oh, this is going to be fun to see how you do this. Yeah, so I'm not going to. I, I just I take this out, out, you know, take away. So I I I use this one, and I pick this one and this one, and see how to how to work out the the idea. Of the okay, so you're sketching in with some. Uh, just... Now is the one is to see how the horizontal, see what happened, you know, see how to do it. So usually what I'm doing is uh, because conversation and you know I think the idea is uh, usually don't limit yourself. You don't have to exactly just like this, but if you you had you know the, the different options. So what I do is I like to give some options and then and then I can compare and see which options there might be is the you know is a good to you know for the comp uh, for the paintings. So I'm gonna do just the one like a vertical and maybe I change another one like a horizontal and and see what what difference. Okay, let's see you do it. That's great. Thank you. So right now, I'm first. I just working on put this one in the foreground. And the picture is not because uh, if you 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 if you're you're, you're doing the plain air, so this is not the color is not you know from the prints. Uh, so when I working on the color studies. At the same time, I I use my uh, plain air experience to guide me 
to to make some adjustment you know adjust the color temperature so right now you're doing a grayscale study or you're going to do some color in there uh, uh same time so i yeah i'm doing the scale and the basic you know the placement but at the same time i think i working on a bit more the colors in the shadows Uh, so first, I just get a little dark shapes. So really just to have the simplify right at the beginning. Don't look at the detail. So all the dots. So you're making that a little less dark because it's receding, or is that uh, something you'll deal with later? Are we, yeah, we're sitting, and then the value, I just light a little bit because the, the foreground, the one in the foreground can be more contrast. So I'm, I'm just, uh, I'm working on entire the, the shadow first. So right now I'm 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 seeing those like a simple shapes. So I see they're like a simple abstract. And all the shadows make the they all connect as the whole whole unity of the shapes. So mostly I'm just working on the shadows. And the, and then uh, the color temperatures around between the light and the shadows. In the outdoor, it, I, I give a little more like purple around the, uh, the form shadows. And then all the shadow that can be, we kind of can reflect the area. So it can be a bit more, uh, push a bit more like orange and, and yellow. So give a little bit more light and warm contrast. And because it's the color studies, so not necessarily you get all the, you know, detail, but rather just uh, uh, use the color and the basic shapes. See how my work for the idea. So once I get these major shapes, and first I think I'm gonna add a few colors on the background first before I, I come back on the figure. Just keep you use the big brush. And then I like this color. Let me just put. So kind of like a little purple. If you just tuned in, this is so he can determine his composition using photos from two different 
images, and then he's going to try it in a vertical and then try it in a horizontal to see which one he would ultimately make for the final painting. So this is just a brief composition and color study. Yes. This. I'm going to put more warm color. Are you using any any medium of any kind? Uh, no, I pretty much just use the turp. Yeah. I'm so at this time. A few cool colors. And that's the major shapes have to be more unified. I think the sky is coming. So the sky and then the background, the mountains.
now working with the Taurus. So you got to restate the darks. Restate. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Or the doors. And how often do we get to see a master at work working on a composition study and a color study? This is pretty cool. So I'm going to take those, some of the shapes, just the indication, some the cool colors in the back. And Maybe add a few, a couple more. So this shoulder is kind of a interesting color pattern. It's catching a lot of light, looks like. Yeah. Yeah. So I see that just like a light dark and mid value tone. So simplify. So same at this one. So I'm gonna put these guys a little bit high because I like the balance. One, two, three. Right, create some perspective. Yeah, yeah, different shapes. I've often heard you don't usually want to put two of anything together anyway. You always want to have uh, odd numbers. Is that correct? <laughs> yeah, I think it's it's kind of a fun balance. So kind of put two shapes, light and a little close. And one kind of under separate in different different place. Okay. Well, we got about 23, 24 minutes left. Just so you know your timing. So okay. I know you got one more you gotta do. 
Yeah. This looks like fun. I want to do this. So very simple. Just see how the location. <clears throat> So see all those different shape patterns. And Okay, I like the arm in here. That there's a very kind of interesting shapes. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah, the negative shapes. So we just dark. So the shadows. A um, couple more. So you're really trying to work out all the things that you're going to deal with in the big painting. You're trying to get them worked out now. Yeah, I try to see how the what, how how the big shape might work. If I I want to do the the large work on this one. So that's the, I think that's pretty much on the small, kind of the basic studies. Okay. Another example so and see. Now you're going to do a horizontal. Yeah, a horizontal. Okay. Okay. I'm curious, are you going to use the same placement of figures or are you going to change them? Uh, I'm going to change it and see if I do hurt first. Okay. okay. <laughs> I do it. Okay, that's horizontal. So I'm gonna maybe crop from here. Let me see. So that's the first. Amazing to me how it reads so well already. Get the so get the shape first. Are you going to put two figures in this one or just one? I'm going to put one behind and see what happens. So I'm going to do her first.
that painting in the background, the the man, is that I, I seem to remember seeing that at your at your house in Berkeley. Is that your father? Uh this one? No, oh, the one over no to the right by the door. Oh, by the door now is no. the yeah, is the model. Oh, okay. Yeah. But that probably you're gonna see it. So that that's my my father. <laughs> oh, okay, I remember that now. Yeah. yeah. And you painted that? Uh, yeah, I painted that uh, a long time ago. Yeah. I did a painting of my father, not nearly as good. <laughs> <laughs> he said for me about a uh, uh, two times. So I painted each time like about a couple hours. So I would say maybe about a three. Yeah. Four hours. I did mine from a photograph. So I'm thinking maybe put her on the back. <clears throat> See what happened. Yeah. Smaller. This is fun. Yeah. You see. See what happened with the shapes. I like them both. Got about 15 minutes left. Okay. Almost there. A lot of pressure to paint in front of people. All these people. Well, get used to it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, you were a teacher at the Academy of Art University for a long, long time, too. So you're used to painting in front of people and teaching. Yeah, because... Yeah, Demonstration is part of the teaching. Very much so. Yeah. You had some pretty famous people that were students of yours. Oh, yeah. They walk hard. And there's so many amazing students and, and become now is very great artists. And I want everybody to observe how he holds his brush. Guys, enjoying this? Say something in the comments.
Today, we're picking from the comments and we're giving away a s digital subscription to Plein Air Magazine. So make sure you leave a comment. You might win one. Wei Han's going to be painting at 3 p.m. Eastern on his video, Twilight in Tibet. And I'll just show you real quickly a, a picture of, of that video just so you can see what he's going to be painting. So that's at 3 p.m. And you'll see that on uh, YouTube and Facebook. Just look up Streamline Art Video, 3 p.m. today. We're going to have to do a, we'll have to ask the people in the comments to tell us which one they like left or right, which one they like best once we're done. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Interesting to see how, how different people have the different. Yeah. How they see things differently. Yes. Well, I really love how the, the close up of the woman, I would have never thought of that. It really makes a lot of sense. You've used images from from that trip for a lot of paintings over the years. Uh, yes. Yeah, I found the trip. Have you been back to Tibet? Uh, I've been I've been to Tibet about I think three times. The uh, I've been to Lhasa about three times. And but the first time I think is nineteen eighty seven. Oh. But now oh. it's totally totally different yeah things has been changed too fast modernized yeah modernized yeah just yeah. like everywhere modernized yeah so well when i take this trip to inland russia you still see people in in kind of their traditional uh garb not not fancy traditional but you know they're they're farm people and they're out you know carrying buckets of water and things it's kind of cool mm-hmm now you won't see that in the cities. The cities are totally modern. Uh, city is totally modern. And when I was there, I think the first couple of times, you see another horse wagons and donkeys and and the people they still live, you know, those like a uh, very simple lifestyle. But now I think it's a major city over there is uh seems like a little longer had a horse horse wagon on the, on the street. Yeah. Yeah, most of the, there's a lot of shops and a lot of people's, yeah, it's, uh, it's different. You got about six, six or seven minutes. Okay, I'm almost there. Got a little on your finger there. <laughs> this one. Okay. My wife says I have two kinds of clothes, those that have paint on it and those that haven't got paint on it yet. 
but there's painter. <laughs> right? That's right. That's painter. Now you're gonna lay in the darks. Um, to feel. Oh yeah. A little indication the blue sky. A little right on the corner. So I'm to keep the major shapes in the right. background, a little small right on the corner. So kind of to show the sky. And so I'm going to go in back a little V-shape the doors. Notice how delicately he's touching that brush. So I want to take these shapes, the dark and the light on there. Right. Occasion. And I, I, I think that the light shapes is kind of very interesting. See something, see the balance. Doesn't take much to do an indication. Just only a few dogs. So only add a few dogs. And so I see that as the the very general shapes. Yeah.
You got about two minutes left. I think that's pretty much. Uh, now I'm just crop and see how my work. So this kind of horizontal. So I don't know. So which one do you like best? Well, uh, each one I think had a different idea. Yeah, I, I agree. And so this is more like an open, open more uh, foreground, mid ground, and the background. Yeah. Can you hold it up to the camera? Could you take it off of there and hold it up so we can see it? Um, oh, you're going to move the camera to it. All right. Okay. Okay. So you probably can see it a bit more close. Yeah, we can see it a little better. Yeah. Better. Okay, you guys, you got to say which one you like, left or right. I kind of like them both, so I don't have a preference. Let them to make choices. <laughs> uh, they each one tell a different story. Yeah, that's true. That's yeah. true. Yeah, to me, I think uh, when you first, I think uh, different conversations seems like have different options of the idea. So uh, the one on the right is a little bit more close. So if 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 my idea is, it's a bit more like interesting, the character, like on this one. So that can be the idea, because uh, this one a bit more like a close up. So it, it doesn't take too much attention on the background and to deal with everything. But this is you can be more like uh, the harvest, so can add few different small figures. Uh, you know, uh, we seeding to the to the background, a more open area. So I, I would, would encourage everybody to try this, to try take some photographs and try to do a multi-figure study. I think it's a great idea.